Hey, you tourists, it's your boy Domination. This is back of base. The Charlie Deuce out of Texas Bay Mother. That's back. You know this is real man Russell, fake man Russell, and real Russell, fake Russell. I'm proud to wear preacher, preach on. I, I really want to speak about this. I was going to wait to speak about this, but I got to speak about this now. After all this stuff that's going on right now, we don't need no more dead rappers. Enough all that. We don't, we Hip hop need to clean up its act and try to show better image what rap should be. Yes, it is in the street, but they need to keep it out in the street and keep it business, keep it authentic, and keep it off wax for it to save more people's lives. But this, between Gucci Man and Young Jeezy, these two right here, they do not like each other. I'm going to tell you something. When they first did a song called So Icy on Gucci Man's album called Trap House, <laughs> I never forget that day when that record first came out. I was very young as a child. I was like 12 or maybe 13 years old when this record first came out. That was like 15, 16, 18 years ago. This is like 18 years ago. This this record came out 18 years ago. These two do probably 10 years ago. These two do not like each other. And now y'all talking about they need to do a battle with each other. I don't know about that one. Why would anybody want to do a, a verse battle for do it for the culture, for the fans? And this is the same guy put a bounty on this man's head and not only that, snatching his chain. Think about that. Do you want to do a record with some man that put a bounty on your head? Ladies, do you want to do a record with a woman put a bounty on your head and your chain? I would not. And I know you wouldn't do it either. Now, this beef got started because these two got mad at each other over a damn song because gucci man claimed he wrote the song young jeezy said and his team claimed that's their song even though young jeezy didn't like the record but why he's in the record he's in the record because he know it's going to give him more budget and more exposure more than gucci does gucci had to do his own thing to get his name out there get huge buzz and get huge to exposure to him to get him out there these two men, they're not, they're not friends, man. They, 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 they hate each other, bro. Even though, thank God, that beef was squashed. Because we don't need no more Tupac and Big incidents. That shit is out of hand. And these two, both from Atlanta. Kind of. Really, Young Jeezy was from South Carolina. Gucci Man's from uh, 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 Alabama. He, 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 from, he from Alabama. Because he had that Obama talk. You tell Gucci the way he rapped, he had that country tone and tone in his voice. Jeezy had that sudden tone, sudden tone in his voice. And both of them from Atlanta. Even They ain't born in Atlanta. They were raised in Atlanta. Until they actually were they actually born and where they came from. Young Jeezy from 4th Ward, Atlanta. And, 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 and Gucci Mint is from Zone 6. That's in East Atlanta. These two, I'm telling you something. It's best they need to stay away from each other for a long time. Because I don't want to see no bloodshed of any rapper. Why is it you don't see this in white people, Asians, Latinos, and Jews, A-Rap, or wherever? You always see this in African-American culture. If they don't clean this act, it's going to be bad for hip-hop for everyone. And that's when nobody wants to be a rapper. It's too dangerous. It's ridiculous. They lost more three. They lost King King Val, whatever his name, from Chicago. And then some say he was a killer and doing this and doing all that. And I'm not spurring his name, but that's what they said. Him and Little Dirt, they both from Sasaipo. They come from gangster Sasaipo people. They GD. And then Mo3, he's what you call the blood or whatever from Dallas. He from four, he from he from North Dallas. I was from North Dallas. I, I was raised in North Dallas, but I was actually born in Oak Cliff. From Holland Hills, all the way to Holland Hills to Skillman. Right close to Adelia and Forest Lane. And and, and Oak Cliff from, from Holland Hills to all the other parts. I don't know where Yellow Beezy from. Some people say he's from uh, L-Town or something like that. Or from Murray. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So that's what this this uh, mysterious question that he from Oak Cliff or not. Trap Boy Freddie is from Keystone Pope. He come from close to that, close to the other parts of other parts of Oak Cliff. Um, I don't know where close to. I think it's from Holland Hills in the in in in, 
and Redbird. Close to that. I don't, I'm not for sure. Some say he 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 uh he uh run Oak Cliff. <laughs> you know what that means? Before he been have money before he had rap money. Mean drug money. I already know what that is. Anyway, I think it's best any stay away from each other because I'm not saying Jeezy did this or not, but he had a song called Stay Strap talking about he will put 10 stacks in somebody's head of Gucci Man's chain. And when that stuff incident went on, they pistol whipped Gucci Man. They have him on hostage, and he had a rope tied in around his back. Somehow, some way, he had to break in the ropes and grab one of the dude's guns and shoot one of the guys. And you know who one of the guys he shot? Young Jeezy's boys. And some say Jeezy's homeboy died and, and buried right along with the elementary school. Close to it. Think about that. This shit is real, bro. And then he went to jail for this. And and, 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 and those are tipped in murder charges. And, and then he uh, got off of self-defense. That's when Gucci Man called the boogeyman a rap for a reason. You should have seen Charlemagne the way he talked about Gucci Man. He was scared to death. Like you thought he was going to wet his goddamn pants. Like he was going to really whack him. He, 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 I tell you, man, I, they, they ain't called. If, if I was around Gucci Man, I would have had a pistol on, 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 my, on, on me myself because this guy, he's a killer, man. I, I tell you, I know a killer when I see one. I don't know about Jeezy. A lot of people say Jeezy is fake, but you know Jeezy, he seemed kind of cocky, kind of arrogant too. But he would, he could be a hysterical, arrogant motherfucker. You never know what he could capable of to do. But it's best they both real in their own way, or they could be both fake. They say Gucci is fake, but they won't say it to his face though, because they know what's going to happen is tempt someone's life. I think it's best that these two need to stay a fuck away from each other for a long time. And the only way this beef is ever going to to crease the beef until they be 65, 85 years old, man. They, they, they don't like each other, man. They don't. And that's why they're going to replace Gucci to T.I. versus uh, Young, G, Young Jeezy's beef. Uh, Young Jeezy's uh, uh, versus battle. But Gucci, man, and Young Jeezy, man, come on, bro. Gucci man ain't got time for this. Come on. He changed his life and he trying to keep it straight. And you see how they turn on Gucci man once he starts changing his life. But this brother was going to go to the path of destruction. He, he didn't want to end up died or in jail. Because if he kept going to the path that he's going, he would have ended up not only be jailed, he'd be murdered. He'd be get killed. I don't care how tough you are, how bigger you are. I don't care if you're the biggest name and, and, and everybody fear to the streets. You will die. Simple as that. You got to lead to path production and not to path of destruction, to betterment of your life and anything more. Let's save some other people's lives and let's keep be, being safe and keep the peace. That's all I say. That's all. And that's all I'm going to say about that. It's your boy Domination. This is back in the basic. Chugging the deuce out of Texas, baby. Until next time. All right? All right. Peace. I'm out. All right. Peace.